about a teacher. Dogen Zenji said, with a true teacher, it's better not to practice. So true, having a true teacher, finding a true teacher is the most important thing. And to me, Uchiyamuroshi, my teacher, was a true teacher. And I was really fortunate from the very beginning, I found a good teacher. Dogen says it's important to have a true teacher, and I thought my Uchiyamuroshi was a true teacher. But uh, Uchiyamuroshi said, I'm not a true teacher. I cannot be a true teacher. True teacher is your Zazen. No human beings can be uh, absolutely true teacher. All human beings are simply ordinary beings. That is one thing he said. Uh, so true teacher is the Dharma and Buddha and our practice. No human beings can be true teacher. That is one thing he said. And another side he said, as a human beings, true teacher is a person who don't say, I am true teacher. I make no mistake, so you have to uh, follow everything I say. <coughs> you have to believe everything I teach. But you should see this is a ordinary human being, so it may, might make mistakes. And for him, that is true teacher. The true teacher should not think he is true teacher. So I think there's both identity and disidentity. That is a very important point. He didn't uh, attach himself to become or to be a true teacher. But he is always humble. And he always uh, say, you know, I cannot do this I, and I cannot be uh, always correct. And that is fine. But to teach that all human beings are limited is a true teaching. I cannot say uh, in general, but in my case, when I was, uh, I was in confusion, I have many questions about life. Uh, as an example, Chamuro shows how to live as a way seekers. I think to me that was most deep, deepest service I received, most deepest offerings human beings can do. Of course, there are so many good things to do, and that is all good. But to show the deepest, deep meaning of uh, life, or uh, how we are within interconnectedness, and show it as an actual concrete example, I think uh, that was most uh, our deepest uh, offering one person can uh, do. In Buddhist traditions, uh, awakening or awareness to the reality, we are living together all the beings, and uh, live based on that reality, I think is most healthy way of life. So I hope this tradition, uh, based on living based on that uh, awakening to the reality, uh, and also become mature to live in that way, I think is what you know Mahayana Buddhist teaching is all about. So I hope you know this way of life continued in the future, as far as there are some people you know, live in such a way, then Buddha's teaching is alive. Uh, you know, I don't care so much about you know, the Buddhism as an as a, uh, institution, whether or even the name of the word, uh, name of Buddhism. But if you know, people live without becoming Buddhist, if they live in that way, that is fine. So, uh, you know, my mission is to transmit and continue this tradition. But if people uh, in the future uh, think they don't need uh, such a religion called Buddhism, that is fine. But I hope those people can see that reality and live together with all beings.